Hello friends of AI for Coding. In this video I give you an update about how to use GitHub Copilot for software development. Why it is an update? I use GitHub Copilot now for over one and a half year and my previous videos are a bit outdated so I will record a new one about how to use it and you will also see in this video which features I like most and I really use on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm using GitHub Copilot in IntelliJ. It's already installed as a plugin and um, connected to uh, the GitHub Copilot server side for the license. So I'm ready to use it. What you typically see at the beginning is here this welcome um, yeah, dialog. It's, it's part on the left side. And you can have a look on the features, like here the code suggestions. We will see this soon. We will also see the chat. And you can configure GitHub Copilot. That's also mentioned here. So let's quickly open the Copilot settings in IntelliJ. You see it here. One classical issue many developers have, especially if they are in enterprise, are the proxy settings. So if you are in enterprise and you need a proxy, you have to set it up. Otherwise, you might not be able to use GitHub Copilot. So that's one catch. You can also change the language for chat from English to your favorite language, could be German, for example. Um, yeah, and here you can make also some other settings, but the basics are, from my point of view, mostly pretty good besides the proxy settings that is something you actively have to set up otherwise it might not work yeah so let's get started here i have a prepared spring boot project it's just an rest api and um, if we look here in this class we have a product controller offering a rest api for reading products we have a bunch of methods like get a single product create a new one with post we have some validation methods which are private um, we have a put method and a delete method there's one method missing um, i started here with a comment explaining what i want to do so if i go now in the next line github copilot kicks in and makes a suggestion to start with a get mapping that's fine um, there is also a side menu of GitHub Copilot, this one. You can click on refresh and see alternative um, code suggestions besides this one, what we have here. So we could have a get mapping for get product to find all, like the whole method implemented in once. And there are alternatives. So here we have get products, alternative get all products. Um, so that are the differences which are there. To be honest, I use this very, very rarely. So the side menu and, and the other alternatives is something I do not use very often, but it's a feature which you might use and it might be different in your cases. So let's continue with the auto completion. So we have here suggested this get mapping by pressing tab. I can take this by going in the next line. I get an implementation, one of the ones we had suggested before. So I take it by pressing tab. And that's already the first implementation of our get endpoint. But here the comment already says we want to have a demo get endpoint for all products, add a filter later. So let's change this comment a bit. Get endpoint for all products. And let's say filtered by name. So product is here this yeah, simple data class. And you see there is a name and I want to filter the list of products by its name. I could also filter by category, by price, or by something else. But in this example, we'll do it by name. So what I can do right now is I can continue changing this code here. But if everything was auto-suggested before by AI, um, I prefer to delete it in that case and try it again. Now it's stuck. Happens sometime. In this case, you might try again. Sometimes could be a bit slow, but, but that's really not so often the case. So now we have a suggestion. Um, we get products. We have a request parameter name. 
And yeah, that looks good. I don't like iterable here, so I can also take the suggestion word by word. I press Control right arrow to take public, the white space, then I type Lisp. And let's wait a second until Copilot finishes it, like this. So I have to import Lisp because Copilot is just generating code today where the cursor is. That might be a feature which changes in the near future. Um, we have here an unimplemented method find by name. The code was generated where the cursor is, so it was not able to create code and generate code in different class. That would have been the product repository here in this interface. There is no method um, find product by name, so we can create it with the help of the IDE, like this. Okay. Then we have our first method implemented. That looks good. Yeah, and you see how easy it is with GitHub Copilot auto completion. Let's do something else where Copilot has less context. I just start typing something. Private Boolean. Right now it has no clue what I want to do. So it makes also no suggestion, which is good. Is still no suggestion is German word. Sometimes you get the suggestions of code which is written below, yeah, like this one. Um, that was right now not the case, which is totally fine. So is German word. We have a string word as input and then the check happens with a regular expression. I take this by pressing tab, so that looks good. One missing piece, yeah. Um, I would like to have a null check for word. So I start here with if. Wait a second for the code suggestion and take it by pressing tab. Okay, let's use this method now in the code above. I remove it again and let's see if we get now a code suggestion which uses the new method is German word. And that's exactly what I wanted to have. Yeah. So we do first a null check in the case of no parameter. We use the find all method. In the case that their name is given, we verify and validate that it is a German word. And then we search by name. And in the last case, we have a bad request because if name is set, it has to be a German word. So that's exactly the implementation I was looking for. And you have now seen how quickly this can happen with GitHub Copilot and autocompletion. Another feature of GitHub Copilot is the chat. And there are some shortcuts about using the chat. Here we have um, a put method, and the put method has a bug. Um, take a moment to uh, check if you can see the bug. Yeah. Um, if not, I will help you, of course. The bug is that we have here um, logical or instead of logical and. And besides this, we are using here on an optional uh, get uh, before checking if it is really present. So let's see if Copilot would also be able to find this. So you can mark the code, can right click and use some predefined statements. So we have, for example, fix this to fix a bug. Uh, we would have also explained this for code explanation. I do not use explain code in my daily work here. Yeah. So, but I heard from other people that they are heavily using it. So it really depends on, on probably your knowledge, on your task and so on. Um, there's also generate test to generate unit tests. That's something I like to yeah, get a kickstart for unit test generation. You can generate documents, also a feature I don't use. And you can simplify code if it yeah, looks strange too much. Code, uh, duplicated code, yeah, please try this, simplify this. That's also a nice um, feature helping. I'm also using this often. But in this demo, I prepared the fix this. So let's check it. Yeah, you can see here there's a shortcut for it, slash fix. You could also type this directly in the chat window to trigger this. And what do we have now as a fix? We see here the or has to be replaced with end in the null checks, and we should use or else throw in order to get a proper exception here in, in this line uh, for the get. So then we have here the fixed code block. I can click on the copy button and then I can just replace it. And you see now it's fixed yeah, with logical end. And here we have the 
find by ID followed by or else show and it even defines the correct method, uh, the correct exception class. Uh, it's a response status exception. Why is it this one and not something else? Yeah, because this one has been used here before in this class. Yeah, you can see it, for example, here. Yeah, so that was also the case when we had the auto completion at the beginning. I closed the chat window so that you can better see the screen. Yeah, here we had also the throw response status exception and it picked this exception because it was used before also in this class in other methods. So it takes your style and codes in your style. Yeah. Okay, so that was the bug fix demo. Um, next thing, let's also have a look and explain this. If you are not a Spring developer, you might not be familiar with Spring Data JPA. And if we look on the right side in this repository interface, yeah, we do not see here in my project structure and implementation for this repository. Um, so we might wonder why. And that could be like a nice question for GitHub Copilot. I can say GitHub Copilot, <laughs> GitHub Copilot explains this, or I can use a chat on the right window. I can start a fresh chat by clicking here this plus button. And then um, there is a chat input here below. And I say um, explain where the implementation of this interface is. As expected answer is that it tells me that we are using Spring and Spring Data JPA and that is we are providing the implementation automatically as you can see here at runtime. Yeah, so that is the correct answer and that's why we don't need to write an implementation about the interaction with our database by ourselves because we are using Spring Data JPA. And if you are in a big new project, yeah, you might have questions like this and then it's um, really helpful. Okay, so what else is interesting about the chat? Um, we have been writing here um, code in the product controller. So I could say now, um, show me all API methods of this Spring Boot project. And now GitHub Copilot will consider the open tabs for this answer. So right now you see here it's processing it. It's starting with the description of the product controller and the get products endpoint. And this answer is just a part of the truth. Yeah, we see it's using three references. You can also check always the references which have been used, but that's not true. Yeah, there's also like a customer package and the customer package contains a customer controller. Um, if you are using Visual Studio Code, there the GitHub Copilot plugin is a little bit ahead of um, IntelliJ and you can use a feature called add workspace. By starting the chat message with the prefix at workspace, you give permission to access the whole workspace and then GitHub Copilot can check all the files to give a better answer to your question. And the better answer would have reflected um, the API and customer controller. What I can do here is I can by my own select the references I want to use. So I can say customer controller, I can see product controller, I can't could add more classes here. And if I then ask the same question again, I might get directly a better answer reflecting both uh, controllers, which build the full API of my project. Um, so we have a product API and a customer API. And now we got the correct answer covering um, both. Two more features. GitHub Copilot helps you also generating documentation. I typically would do it like um, starting to type slash star star for Java doc, and then you get the Java doc documentation. But you could also um, 
use the context menu to generate documentation, then it will do it for the whole class. Um, but what's more interesting, as I said before, I, I'm not so much documenting my code, uh, try to write clean code. Uh, so you could generate tests and then Copilot is checking the whole class and starting to write tests for it. As you can see here right now, we are getting a test class generated. Yeah, we have to create the class, the file, and but then we can copy the whole stuff in it. Yeah, that is GitHub Copilot in IntelliJ. I personally um, like it a lot. It speeds up my coding. The most important feature for me personally is the chat. Yeah, I like it very much. If you have technical issues and you ask um, about it, like the example we had with uh, um, Spring Data JPA, um, but even if you are more experienced in your framework and in your language and you have more advanced questions, it's, it's really powerful in, in solving this and helping you. Depending on your enterprise settings, sometimes um, the chat answers get filtered away due to public code match. In, in, this times, uh, in this times, you can try it again by asking the same question again and saying add some comments with, uh, I don't know, um, random uh, documents in the code, uh, documentation in the code that might help to prevent the public code filter. But in general, yeah, the chat is for me the most powerful feature, but I also like the auto-completion while typing, but I guess the most benefit is for me with the chat. If you enjoyed this content, please give me a thumb up and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.